good morning. Oh. Good, good, good morning. Um, it's your girl Q. And basically, I love my hair. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's just. They do you right over there, quality cuts. Please excuse London and Rome. I have not done my daily cleaning yet. It is what it is. Now, um, I'm gonna be playing some videos, um, on YouTube. And I'm going to be sharing some, some videos on YouTube. And I want you guys to get an understanding. Um, <clears throat> like I always say, I don't want anybody's sympathy. At all. I just want you to understand some things. Okay. Um, first of all, first thing is... You guys have to stop judging people when you don't know the circumstance or you don't know this or you don't have any real information like you you can't just go out and say fucked up harsh things about a person just because you're mad now facts is facts especially if it's something you've seen with your own two eyes but if you have no real facts behind the shit that you're spewing about a person, and you know you have a large following, and you know you have the ability to make people think a certain way about a person, why would you do that? Why would you do that? That shows that you're a fucked up person. And, you know, it's a lot of people that's out here that's like, yeah, I'm going to build you up and I'm going to tear you down. I'm going to break you down. Why? That's not cute. There's no there's no real integrity or dignity in that. I'm gonna need you to take a seat over there with the white supremacists. That's what I'm gonna need you to do. I'm gonna need you to go sit on the other side of history. Real shit. It's sickening. A motherfucker do anything to discredit you. Now, I can understand they're coming from others, but your own people, people that you supported, people that I have supported with my money, I have kids. I, there's always something that I need to spend my money on. Motherfuckers just treat you like you just fans or anonymous motherfuckers behind keyboards. I'm a real human being. And I didn't deserve any of that. Especially considering the fact that I'm out here repping stupid, like making myself look like a fucking idiot. I'm good though. Trust and believe that. I'm motherfucking great. I'm Gooch. I'm Gooch good. I'm great good. Am I right? You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'll never understand folks that treat other people like that. Does that help you? Does that make you feel good? Does that make you feel better about yourself as a person? So, and, and it makes me understand that I must be a real fucking problem for you motherfuckers. <laughs> you motherfuckers are scared. Oh, no, no, no. She do drugs, cuz. She, she a fucking crackhead. She just did in the third. Really? No, wrong, Ivory. That was my mom. I didn't do that to myself. Because I saw what happened to her. 
I saw how they did her. I saw what it made her do to me. I'm forgiving my mother, but I don't feel like it's right for motherfuckers to just typecast me and put me in her shoes. I got my own damn shoes. So whatever. Was so quick to talk some of the most ignorant shit. I'm gonna throw something out, out, out there at y'all. You know, Steve Jobs, Albert Einstein, Edgar Allan Poe. These people have something in common. They all suffered from mental illness. Did that make them stupid? It must have made them pretty erratic, pretty misunderstandable, pretty different. See where I'm going with this? Steve Jobs was on the autism spectrum, on the high end. It makes it hard to make friends. But never does it make you stupid or dumb or worthy of being treated fucked up. A lot of people don't understand me. And I didn't understand myself for so long. Like, why, why am I having so much of a problem making friends? Making real friends. They wouldn't try to fuck over me or get over on me or... I wonder why that was such a difficult thing for me to do. And I found out, you know, like, why is it difficult for me in certain social situations? And then I found out. I'm on the high spectrum, high end of the autism spectrum. My whole life. I have been called retarded slow. I have been told that there's something wrong with her. So for years, I went on believing that that's what that was. Something wrong with me. I didn't know that I had mental health issues that could have been helped. I give a lot of myself to people. My energy, my time, my love, my money, my kind thoughts. And it's so easy for those same people to bash me because they don't understand me. I require more than just to be treated any kind of way and I'm sorry if that fucks up your plans or your thought process about how things should go because even though I do have autism I do have post-traumatic stress disorder I am still a good human being I have a heart and I treat people with kindness and I know that a lot of people will feel as though you know oh it's okay to treat her any kind of way because you know she's slow or this or that or they'll think I'm so slow but mentally I'm a lot quicker than you think I'm deeply empathic I feel a lot of different things Sometimes it's hard for me to express. Sometimes I just don't care. Because a lot of the times I will actively look past a lot of shit 
just to love somebody and just to hope that they will love me too. It's a battle every day. Every day I struggle <clears throat> to get up, to get out of bed, to move around, to do the normal daily activities that a lot of people take for granted. And I felt so alone in this world and it, it'll make you feel like you're wrong for having these feelings. Are uh, you wrong for having these malfunctions? And then I was watching this show by uh, Lisa Wright called Giants. And it made me so happy to see that because Finally, people are having these types of conversations about mental health. Hopefully, it'll come down to a day to where people won't use it as a condescending thing. Oh, she has mental health issues. You know, we can't talk shit. She stays seriously. When really, it's the other way around. Some of the most purest souls that I've met on this wretched motherfucker. We're quote unquote off. I don't set out to harm anybody. Most of the time, like I said, I had to. I don't remember one fight that I ever got in where I started. I can't honestly recall one fight that I started. People don't understand. My my cousin, Lamar, the other day we was talking and I was sharing my music with him. And um, I was sharing my music with him and he was like, Quiana, you gonna go far? You so talented. He was like, you, um, you just a big ball of energy. And, they, and he knows that because I've been like that since I was a kid. And since I was a kid, people have done their best to to snub that part out. You know, make me like everybody else. They want to give you pills and all this stuff and say, here, take this medication. This is what you need in order to function properly when... For me, all I felt like I really needed was just love. Understanding somebody to really care for me. So, the way that I am, I just throw myself into shit, into people, into situations. A lot of times I just, I go right in. If I like a person's energy, if I like them, I dive in head first. And it's not even just a romantic like. Like, if I really like a person as a person, I'm all in. I invest my time. I invest my energy. I so much. 
only to turn around and have them same people dogging me out. I've been depressed for like the past week because I just get so frustrated because I feel like people don't understand me whatsoever. They don't get me. So automatically they try to figure out what the fuck it is about me that makes me me. And it's draining. The jokes, the slander, the dumb shit, it's draining. But then as soon as I say something directly, then, oh, are you being messy? No, messy is sitting up, starting shit with somebody on the slip, though. With somebody. Simply because they intimidate them. It's got to be something. It's going to be some kind of flaw somewhere. Well, there you have it. I'm autistic. I'm on the high end of the high end of the spectrum of autism. It causes me to have social issues sometimes. Stuff like that. But as far as my intelligence, it is not infected in the least. I'm very direct. I'm very straightforward. A lot of times, that's why it's hard for me to give certain people eye contact. Sometimes. Because I feel like the transference of their negative energy. Soul transference. You know, I don't be wanting to feel like how they feel. So I won't look them in the eyes. You know, with somebody that I love, I could just stare into their eyes all day. But right now, love ain't even my focus. I feel like I'm never going to feel it the same way I give it, so what's the point? What's the point? So I'm just going to work hard, do what I'm supposed to do, keep fighting and taking care of my kids, living my life. And before people start to make the um nigga I told you she was retarded jokes, I'm in goddamn good company. Steve Jobs. There's a list of people who are famous right now who are on the high end of the spectrum. There are some of your favorite actors, some of your favorite singers, some of your favorite innovators, movers and shakers, a million billionaires in this world that are on the high end of the autism, highest spectrum in autism. And regardless to what level of the spectrum that a person is on, autistic people are some of the most artistically inclined, musically inclined, intelligent people you're going to come across in this world because our minds are shaped differently. They operate differently. It's been it took me a long time to come to grips with that. Like I, uh, I fought it and I battled it for feel good getting that off my chest. <laughs> and 
makes me feel so much better to get that off my damn chest. Um, alright. So much love you guys. Be good to people. You never know what a person is battling on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just to survive and Good morning, Good morning.